What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing part two of matching TikToks with books. Everyone really enjoyed part one and I'm back to do more. Honestly, it took a little while for me to get a part two, but finally it's here. In this series, I recommend books based on TikToks. If you haven't seen part one, it'll be up here. As always, check my description down below for updated petitions and donation links. Let's get started. What's a celebrity impression that you can do? <coughs> hey, what's going on, dog? My name's Yoshi. What I love about TikTok is that it just gets my humor. And this TikTok in particular definitely got my humor. I I think this is my favorite TikTok of all time. It is so funny. So for this TikTok, I'll be recommending two books. First is a nonfiction, and this is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. This is Trevor Noah's memoir about him growing up in South Africa, about apartheid, and a lot of trauma that he experienced and racism and segregation. I read this where, I read this in my video where I read YouTubers book recommendations. So that'll be up here as well if you haven't seen it. I really loved this book. It's a great nonfiction and I would recommend it if you don't know Trevor Noah or you just wanna know more about him because I went into it not knowing anything about him and I learned a lot. And then I have On The Come Up by Angie Thomas, which is about a girl named Brie who becomes a famous rapper. Her dad was also a famous rapper and it is about her going viral. I really enjoy this. If you do have access to reading the audiobook, I would recommend it. I love the audiobook because the narrator sings and you can hear the music and it just felt like the character came alive. I'm angry! I'm angry! One of my followers went to my Amazon wishlist and bought me this book about the Quetzalcoatlus, my favorite dinosaur, and that was super nice of them. But I put it on Amazon wishlist hoping to learn more about the Quetzalcoatlus. But if you look in the book, it is a notebook, the pages are blank, now I have to do the research myself and then write it down in the notebook. Couldn't I have done that on any other piece of paper? I would be pretty angry too. <laughs> I love this TikTok. It is so funny. And I can definitely imagine being in this person's shoes because I have done that before where I have ordered something on Amazon or somewhere and it just wasn't what I thought. Um, this tripod right here. <laughs> Didn't think it would be crooked, but it is. Um, and that was annoying, but I love this. It is so funny. So I am going to actually recommend a book that I learned something from. Unfortunately, in this video, <laughs> that person did not learn anything, but I did. So I am recommending This Place 150 Years Retold is a graphic novel, and it highlights a lot of indigenous historical figures. It's more based in Canada, but I did learn a lot from this and I enjoyed it a lot. So I would recommend it if you're looking for more nonfiction about indigenous people and their history. This week, we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Shrek films. Our special guest judge, a Shrek fan we found at the park. Okay, so I think we should do a dirt base, you know, like really emphasize the swamp aspect. Oh my god, we never turned on the oven! They're liquid! Two minutes! So here we have a mud cupcake with a grass garnish. This cupcake really screams, get out me swamp. You say this is a dirt cupcake, but I cannot taste the filth. Uh, Shrek would love this. We have a sand cupcake with Shrek detailing. This is a little half-baked, just like the plot of Shrek the Third. Has a nice color green. Hey now, you're an all-star. I like to bake and I love to watch baking competition shows. I was an avid watcher of Cupcake Wars and this is a beautiful recreation of the show. So I'm gonna recommend From the Desk of Zoe Washington by Janae Marks, which I read in my advent calendar picks my TBR video. This is a middle grade book about a girl named Zoe who loves to bake and she wants to go on the kids bake off, but she needs to convince her parents first and they are very hesitant about it. So she spends the summer trying to convince her parents that she should go on the show and it gets a little internship at a bakery and it is such a good book. It is all about baking, but it also tackles the heavy topic of 
innocent black men going to jail for a crime they didn't commit when she is writing letters to her dad who she has never really known. Um, he sends her a letter and she starts writing him back and she tries to help get him out of jail for a crime he didn't commit and it is such a great debut novel. I love it. So if you like baking and you like books with heavy topics, I highly recommend this. I be holding my cat and I'm like, my little baby. Are you a little baby, tiny baby girl? But she's six, so she's actually a 40-year-old woman in human years. Are you a 40-year-old woman? I love my cat so much and I really saw myself in this TikTok. So I'm going to recommend a book that has characters who are over 40 years old and this is Bingo Love by T. Franklin. It is about two older black women in their 60s and they rekindle their love and it is such a good book. It is written by a disabled author. It has disability rep. It has queer and pansexual rep. I love seeing older queer characters and I love this graphic novel. Tell me your emotions unstable without telling me you're emotionally unstable. <laughs> Cookie Monster has a cousin, a British cousin, named Biscuit Monster. <laughs> yeah! Put a finger down if you just learned that Cookie Monster has a British cousin. Cookie Monster's British cousin has a hat and that's how you know he's his cousin. In this TikTok, the person is crying, so I'm gonna recommend a book that made me cry. This is The Passing Play Book by Isaac Fitz. While editing this video, I found out that saying Isaac was me wrong because I thought it had two M's, but this is actually Isaac Fitzsimons, not Fitzsimmons. Just want to clear that up because I will be saying his last name wrong in this video. So Fitzsimons, not Fitzsimmons. It is coming out on June 1st. It is about a 15 year old trans boy named Spencer. He is going stealth at a new school and he also wants to join the soccer team and it is so nice and I cried because I loved Spencer so much and I loved reading his journey. I've been wanting to read this book for a long time. It's important to read and educate yourself about trans issues in sports, especially at the moment, which I'll have a link down below. The world doesn't want trans people to do anything and reading this is so nice, even though Spencer does go through a lot of things because he's trans and he is trying to not out himself and he doesn't want anyone to know because he just wants to live like a normal boy and he ends up facing discrimination because there's a discriminatory law in Utah that prevents him from playing soccer um, and it was such a good book that it made me cry. Um, doesn't really take a lot for me nowadays, but this one was very special and I loved it. Go and support this book. It comes out on June 1st. I'll have the pre-order links down below. He is doing a character card thing, which is really cool. I'm definitely going to take that opportunity. I want to see this on the New York Times bestsellers. I want him to get more books written. So definitely support him in this book if you can. It is so special. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely one of my favorites. My mom came into my room and was like, what country is that for? Why do you have a random country's flag in your room? And I was like, um, that's the non-binary flag. And she was like, non-binary? What continent is that on? I guess TikTok just likes to show me these funny pride flag TikToks. Um, and so this is kind of the sequel to part one because part one I had the bisexual flag and now we have the non-binary flag. So I'm going to recommend I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. If you haven't read it yet, what are you doing? This is about a non-binary teen named Ben who comes out to their family and is kicked out and has to live with their estranged sister. I really love this book. I'm due for a reread of it. Uh, Mason has a new book coming out this year and I'm really excited to read it. But if you haven't read I Wish You All the Best yet, I highly recommend it. And last is Chowder the Skateboarding Dog. I 
love seeing dogs skateboard. It is amazing and it is the cutest thing ever. So I'm going to recommend another trans book that's coming out this month actually. I'm going to recommend Between Perfect and Real by Ray Stove. This has a trans boy who is a skater. He is a skater boy and I need everyone to pick this book up. It comes out this month, April 27th, and I'll have the links down below for that as well. This is about a boy named Dean who is out as a lesbian, but when he gets the role of Romeo in his school's production of Romeo and Juliet, he has some feelings about gender and comes out as a trans boy and he is the best character I've ever read. I love him so much and this is such a great book. I love it so much. I feel like we don't see enough characters who are skaters so if you like reading about that I highly recommend it. I would also recommend Skate for Your Life by Leo Baker which is about a trans masculine um, non-binary person. They talk all about their experience being a pro skater and just being a trans person in sports and I really resonated with this book. It was so good. It's very short. It's like 60 or something pages and I love it a lot so definitely go and pre-order that as well. This is a whole video of me just talking about the books you should pre-order and pick up so that was it for my TikTok book recommendations. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below a skateboard emoji if you have stayed till the end and to boost my engagement so other people can see these fun videos. Definitely go and watch part one if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there where you can see exclusive videos and my monthly wrap-ups. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.